so this is the raspberry pi raspberry pi 4 comes with 4 gb of ram has two usb 3.0 ports two usb 2.0 one ethernet port has inbuilt wi-fi and bluetooth 2 power supply 5 volt and has usb type c so the usb type c goes in this jack and it powers on i also got a sd card to run or install any os on this i'm using lineage os for this right now the next is the uh, pi dac pro iq audio so this is a very good high resolution dac it has uh, it passes almost 24 bits at 192 kilohertz too this can sit on top of the raspberry pi directly but i've chosen not to do this there are few uh posts on forums suggesting that if you use that close to the ethernet ports or the power supply it can cause noise can pass through both of these boards uh, what i've done is i've used uh, cable which i connect these two boards okay uh, this also comes with few uh, spacers and few screws uh, these are the screws which i bought separately over here some nut bolts to you know use to connect everything now i also have a box actually what i've done is i've installed a screen in this i won't remove this right now because it is a very tedious task to you know remove it right now this is uh, you know you can like, say it's a lunch box or you know normal plastic box which i'm using the raspberry pi to set in what i've done is i've drilled holes these are holes for the rca and 3.5 mm outputs these are some holes for the usb outputs power outlet the cords which go to the display screen and so on again this is a very shy, shy, shabby job you can see this is broken but it gets the job done people who want to have much more uh, you know good looks or something like that can opt for a metal casing or something like that again this was lying at home so i used this somebody can use something else acrylic boxes can be made out of this this is a five inch uh, touch screen which is a capacitive touch screen which uh, which we use on normal mobiles and so on now this uh, display gets powered through a usb port over here uh, and a hdmi port for both of which we have this is a usb micro usb and this normal usb which for this we will power it through the pi itself this micro hdmi port okay uh, this is a HDMI port. I know this This is not a normal HDMI port. This is a very small HDMI port which goes to the Raspberry Pi over here. The Raspberry Pi has uh, HDMI ports which are the smaller ones, micro HDMI ports. The output will be going to the uh, display over here. With the screen, I did get some other cables which are smaller in size, but those were HDMI to HDMI, normal, big sized uh cables they are pretty small to route through the whole box it was kind of painful for me uh, i use this cable because the way this insulates and keeps everything tidy and tight makes a good option i will share a link uh on the description on how to install so this is a pretty basic way to install it what you do is the hat directly sits on this and you're good to go but right now what we will do is we will install all this this micro usb already has a lineage os on it version 8 18.1 uh, which is uh, which is android based uh, it is not android tv based it is android mobile based so what it does is basically runs the whole uh, android ecosystem you can even install google apps on it like this way i have installed uh, tidal apple music and so on uh, and i will show you what is the quality output it serves me and the dac provides a very very good uh quality of music on this i'm like totally impressed the whole package around costs somewhere between uh, 78 grand the raspberry pi depending on what ram you purchase goes uh, between 3000 to 4000 rupees 
the IQ audio DAC comes around 1800 rupees or something. Uh, this touchscreen is a bit expensive, but it is still cheap, like 2700 or 2500 if I can remember correctly. These cables come with the touchscreen. This has to be purchased separately. It, I mean, it costs slightly more, I think 500 or so. But I would suggest like going go for these power supplies which come with the Raspberry Pi because not all power supplies can power this touchscreen. If you use a aftermarket power supply for Raspberry Pi, this cannot work. I mean, sometimes it causes an issue. The touchscreen may or may not work. So just giving a heads up on this. So let's connect all of these connectors and uh, show you how quickly I do this power it on and what are the options available in this. Okay, let's start the streamer. Now, normally this runs at a landscape mode. What I've done is I've con configured it to run in a portrait mode. So the initial startup is still in the landscape mode. With So again, you can see all Android apps can be installed over here. If you check the bitrate right now, it will show you 48 hertz. The upsampling of the Android devices can be seen, but again, that upsampling is only to the USB ports. But what I've also done is uh, I've changed the core uh, root files of Android, which now don't upscale. By default, it will still show uh, 48 kilohertz. But if I attach an external DAC to this, I had tried it. It got an output of 96 kilohertz and 88 whatever like how like how powerful your DAC is it will output it but i would still try it with a topping DAC or something where it can show me the actual bitrate which is getting output over here in the bitrate checker it showed me more than 48 hertz the sampling i reduced it back to the cd quality 44 kilohertz i have apple music title installed over here both can do high res right now. I'm not playing any music right now, just showing you guys. So you see high res lossless. 24 bit 192. And most of the tracks can be played into 24 bit high res. I would show how this plays. I will not play the regular songs, I will play a royalty free music which should be able to you know judge how and how this actually sounds again this would be compressed file these will be normal mp3s not flax or you know high res audio files but it should give you a fair idea on how this performs with the key acoustic speakers let's begin Anticipates the side of set on her prey, like stars in the darkest night. 